Yeah. I'm not going to last eight hours. I'm sorry. Uh uh. All right. Let's see if we get this thing going live. Let's see. Hey. I'm not going to last eight hours. I'm sorry. Uh uh. All right. All right. Let's see if we get this thing going live. Let's see. Two seconds. Hey. I'm not going to last eight hours. I'm sorry. All right, let's see if we get this thing going live. Oh, what's this? Let's see me. What the freak? Yeah, I was talking to my brother. Um, He was um telling me, I, there's nothing there. I said, try now. Because uh, we started the live stream. <laughs> yeah. All right. Yeah. All right, there we go. I, I actually did tell people that I was going to uh, do this tonight. Sweet. So uh, I'm going to put my camera on for a minute and tell them that I'm doing this right now. Not a problem. Hey there, Jelly Beans. Um, I'm back. Um, as I told you, I'm doing my live stream. Well, Mr. Darren Hillhouse vlogs. Hi, guys. Well, um, a guest in his uh, live stream, um, John Hargity Vlogs, might be on later if he ever gets here. Um, I'm sorry, Mr. TB Vlogs is not come. Everybody, please wish his wife to get well, to get better. And I'll see you all later on. Have a good night. Where's your live stream? It's right here, Barb. I'm in the live stream right now. Hi. <laughs> he said hello. hello. My friend Darren said hello. She said hello. Hi. So. Mr. TB's. Yeah, this is pretty awesome. I, I like how it goes from your camera to my camera. Like it's pretty cool. Yeah, it's it's whoever's talking is will be on the. Um, oh, okay, okay. That's uh, cool. It, it gets kind of uh, delayed when you have like five people in the live stream and they're all trying to get their word in, but yeah. Okay. Uh, you know, that's when it gets rough right there. Yeah. It's like a ton of people and like it like switches back and forth to their picture and like, what the heck? Who's talking now? <laughs> You got to know the voice and, and who, who who it is. So um, when I do it, I try to have like three or four people. But if you get more than that, it just gets it gets crazy. But yeah. So uh, right. as John said, uh, Mr. TB's sick and his wife's not feeling well, so he didn't get to join us. He is on live uh, chat. Hello, Mr. TB. Thank you for uh, participating in the live chat. And then we have Mr. Haggerty, Mr. John Haggerty, that may be joining us at some point, but we don't know. So um, what you been up to, man? Not much. Just, uh, you know, just trying to lose weight and all that stuff. Um, I lost 10 more pounds, so I'm down to 522. That's awesome. Well, all together, thank you. All together, I lost 140 pounds. Oh my gosh, that's amazing! Thank you. So how, so, long have you huh? how long have you been doing this? Since December 2016. So almost so about nine nine and a half months. Yes, that's cool. That's pretty good. 140, you said. Yeah. That's awesome. Keep going. Thank you. And it's like I lost like a a, uh, a skinny person off my body. <laughs> oh my gosh! Um, when I got married nine years ago, I was 130 pounds. I was like a chicken. I was so skinny. But I plumped up. I'm at 180 now. So really? Yeah. So. So my my goal is to get the uh, 300. Either three or two seventy-five. That's my goal. 
Gotcha. That's that's a good goal. Are you like doing rewards or something or? Uh no. I'm just well. Since I got diabetes, I just stopped eat, eating junk food, soda. I I used to like drink like about three liters of soda a day all to myself. A Pepsi. Wait, Pepsi. you still do or you did? What's that? You still do or you did? I used to. That's right. Coke here and there, but it was mainly Pepsi. Yeah, I'm a Pepsi man myself, or actually Mountain Dew, but. You know, a lot of the weight dropped off because I stopped drinking soda. So you don't drink any at all, or you just I do not drink any soda at all. No soda, no sweets. Well, because I became a diabetic, I, I got, I got, I became a diabetic type two in December, and um, because I was in a hospital. I don't know if you remember or not, because I was in a hospital for like almost a week. Oh wow. I didn't know back then, but I think when I when I was introduced was um, when John Haggerty started doing the uh, YouTube. Yeah. Um, so it's all John's fault. We know each other. Yeah. Well, John's a good guy. Yeah. <laughs> and I, and and when I say it's all his fault, I say I say that in a good way. So yes. Uh, hey, yes. Mr. Robert Vlogs, how are you doing? He's on the side chat. Oh hey, Mr. Rocker Vlogs. So, um, so you were in the hospital for a week. Yeah, um, I they wouldn't let me eat or drink anything, not even water. The only time I was allowed to drink water is for my meds. That sucks. I've yeah. uh, I've been in the hospital. Um, I grew up in the hospital, and I there were times when I was on a diet, and I just I. I struggle because those some of those diets they put you on are like I understand they do it for a purpose, but it's not it's not easy. Right. But why wouldn't they let you like drink water? Uh because they said it was um I don't know, messing with my sugar or some something. Oh. I, I do not understand what it was about. Uh, like retaining the water so you couldn't get it off, or I, I guess, but it didn't seem like cause I you had to go to the bathroom every so often, you know. And they had tied to a freaking um, what are them things called the IV, IV, and like I had to push the button for them to like unstrap me, and sometimes they wouldn't. Come in. Ah, uh, that's the worst. I I couldn't get out of bed fast enough because they wouldn't come in. And, you know, you got to go. You got to go. <laughs> yep. So I've been there. I've, I mean, like I said, I grew up in the hospital. I've I had my fair share of uh, nurses not wanting to help. So yeah. So you're right. diagnosed with type two. And they told yeah, you to too. lose the weight. Yep, I lose the weight. I lose the diabetes. That's cool. That's the, that's the nice thing about type two is it's it's curable. So, so. yeah, it's uh, I'm like I'm happy. Like I'm losing the weight, and in a way, being uh, diagnosed with diabetes kind of saved me. Because, like, well, if I wasn't this big, I would have never had diabetes. Yeah. At least I don't think so. But, um, but since I got diabetes, I think it saved me because I did, like, entire 360 of what I was doing. I, like, like, like I said, no more soda, no more sweets, um... Mainly no sugar added stuff or sugar free stuff. That's what I eat. I eat chicken all the time. Like I'm under twelve hundred calories a day. Wow. The the no soda would would be hard for me. I've tried it before and I 
like I've done it for like three weeks and I got back on the soda, which is mm -hmm. bad. But well, soda was definitely the hard one because, like I said, I used to drink like three liters of soda a day. Wow. I drink a lot of soda, but I don't think I've ever drank three liters. Like, I think the most I've ever done is actually mm -hmm. hold on. I probably do drink three liters because it's free at work. And so right. it's hard to say no to free. So I'm, I probably. If it's free, it's for me. Huh? <laughs> if it's free, it's for me. Pretty much. <laughs> yeah, it's like, it's crazy. But yeah, soda is a bunch of empty calories. And that's. I got a lot rid of a lot of it, so yeah. My coworker's a health nut, and he always chastises me for drinking so much soda or drinking ramen or eating ramen. So ramen? Yeah, I I used to keep a box, a case of ramen under my desk. So I, I miss ramen. Huh? I miss ramen. <laughs> well, it's easy because I I leave it under my desk, and I wouldn't have to worry about bringing a lunch. Right. And so I would eat it, like, for lunch. I, I ate it for, like, months on end like that, but I got tired of it. But when I did, he would, like, that's empty calories. That's so bad for him, like, but it's easy. <laughs> I love the flavor. I don't necessarily love the flavor. I just love the ease of it. Like, yeah. I just let it boil for a minute or two, and it, it's done, so. Like. College kids keep ramen in business. Yes, they do. I I ate a lot when I was in college. Uh, it's, you know, I never went to college, but I know from hearing a lot of people's experience, that's all they ate because that's all they could afford is ramen. It's true. College is not cheap. Nope. And like, like my my, I have a friend. Well, two friends are diabetic, and um, I like I get on them all the time. Like, you gotta start eating better, eat better. Like, they like, this one like gets like cake every time after he eats meals, and the freaking cake is like huge. It, it, it could like feed like about three people. That's how big the cake was. And he eats it all to himself every time. That's crazy. But at least, I mean, looks like you're making strides towards reversing it, so that's good. Yeah, like the last time I went to the doctors uh, was August 18th. And he said my A1C is 5.4. So says I'm not diabetic, but we're waiting on my blood test, blood sugar test or whatever. Yeah. Blood work, blood work to come back. And I got another doctor's appointment on October 13th, Friday. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Yeah, I got a new doctor's appointment then. And I'll find out what my blood, my blood is. So do you test it and and do insulin? Yes, I do insulin. Um, the doctor knocked my insulin all the way down to six units a night. That's cool. My my wife's diabetic, and she has to do the insulin and the and the testing and all that. Like right. sticking myself the needle is not. My favorite thing. Yeah, I'm sure. Yeah. Does your wife use the pen? Um, she does use the pen, yes. Yeah. The, um, I I use the pen, and I also got to take metformin. She does, too. That stuff will eat your stomach alive. And the fartin. She doesn't do that one. Uh, the doctor said it pro helps protect your kidneys. Interesting. Maybe she should do that one. And also, it's also a blood pressure pill, too. Gotcha. 
I think it's potassium. Uh, like a banana. Yeah, I guess so, yeah. <laughs> it says potassium on the bottle. <laughs> I'm like, okay. That's the only thing I can remember from the bottom is potassium. So I'm sure it tastes better to eat a banana than... Oh, yeah. It, it looks like a little tiny Xanax. Like, what the heck? <laughs> What are you trying to do to me, doctor? <laughs> exactly. I, I call him a knockoff Xanax pill. <laughs> it's like a little pink. I think it's pink. Yeah, I'm colorblind, so it, it could be red. I don't know. Uh, um, it's tiny and round like a Xanax. Gotcha. Well, it looks like we have two viewers now. We're, Hello, everybody. Uh, we're moving up in the world. Yeah, we are. <laughs> so, not sure if John's going to be able to join us. He has to work at four. So, oh well. Work, 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 work. Work, work, work clock at Sunday on at Coke. Oh, I could not do four o'clock. Last weekend, I. I worked Saturday um, morning, and then I worked Saturday uh, overnight, and then I worked Sunday overnight, and then I worked uh, Monday day, Monday evening, right? And then, and then I worked uh, Tuesday morning, and that about killed me. Those overnights are, are no joke. Right. Um. I never worked overnight. Um, I I don't work anymore. I'm on disability. Um, uh, what are you talking about? You work on YouTube? Huh? Well, yeah, YouTube. What are you talking about? <laughs> yeah, YouTube. Yeah, I do work on YouTube. I'm talking about out there in the world. I don't work anymore. Um. I used I used to work out there in the world until I got laid off. Oh. The boss said I wore my welcome out. The owner of the company said I wore my welcome out. How did you do that? Um. Well, I had a really bad toothache. And I took a Tylenol. For some reason, Tylenol makes me sleepy. And I took a nap. I was living with my ex, my girlfriend at the time. And I asked her to please wake me up. She didn't wake me up. I woke up to the phone. It says, never come back to work again. You wore your welcome out. Oh, that sucks. Yeah. And then I couldn't find another job after that. And but um, my back is was really getting to me at the time too. Um, it was getting worse and worse. And um, it's because all the motor vehicle accidents I've been involved in, and like a lot of doctors kept saying it's because of your weight. I'm like, nope, it's because I've been involved in multiple. Motor vehicle accidents. And they were all on school buses, except for what? three. Are you like a magnet for school buses? When I was inside them, probably. <laughs> Wait, you were inside a school bus. How many times were you inside a school bus in an accident? At least 10 times. Are you serious? Dead serious. Were you driving? Started, started back in '92. Were you driving? No, 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 no. I was either a student or a bus aide. Oh, okay. Yeah. So we always got hit in the rear end of the of the bus. Ten accidents seems like a lot. Yeah. Like, I don't. I'm, I believe you, but that's how do you miss a yeah. bus? <laughs> they weren't stop. Wow. And like, 
when me, my sister, and my mom were driving home in the middle of the night because we picked me and my sister picked up my mom from work. Uh, somebody turned right in front of us and we couldn't stop and we smacked into them. And then one time I was going to pick up my brother, I in my sister's car. Somebody ran a stop sign and I T boned them. And oh yeah, and uh, one time, my last accident was somebody rear-ended me. I was stopped. Somebody rear-ended me going like 25, 35 miles an hour. Oh. And that hurt like hell. I'm sure. It, it was the most painful accident I have ever been into. Like uh, That was in 2010. I've not been in a major accident like that. I've been fairly lucky, but last year my we were following my roommates to to go to dinner and this truck like they were stopping and so we were stopping and I was probably falling too fast and too close. But so I swerved to miss them and the truck behind uh hit me and the driver's side in the back like tapped the back end because I've moved most of the way out of there but he like oh right in the back end and he's had a concussion for the last year he's been oh dealing. wow um, luckily I've never been in an accident like that but it's just crazy sauce yeah it stuff is no fun this one time, I don't know if you're familiar with 295. Oh. Yeah, 295 is our, one of our major highways in Jersey. Uh -huh. And um, I was driving my truck, my back tire blew out. And it sounded like a gunshot, it sounded like a shotgun. And when my rim touched the ground, it spun my truck and I did a 180. Oh, wow. So I was facing traffic, even tractors and trailers. And like my truck slid over into the right lane. I did not miss anybody. I collected a 17 year old girl that just got her permit. And... Oh, I bet that scared the crap out of her. Yeah. Yeah, it did, because all I had her screaming in my ear. Her window was down, and my driver window was down. <laughs> like, all I, I had her screaming in my ear, bloody murder. Ah! Ah! <laughs> um, you know, I know it's not funny, but sometimes I do look back at it, and, like, hearing her scream is, like, laugh makes me laugh sometimes. Well, now it's funny, but back then I'm sure it wasn't funny. No, it wasn't. That was my scariest. I told you my painful, but that was my scariest because I had trucks coming at me, semi trucks coming at me. That would and be scary. That was scary. Definitely scary. Um, me and my friends were following a team van because we were playing softball. Uh -huh. And. Um, we couldn't ride in the van because of insurance purposes. And, um, well, we we're right behind them. They, I don't know how they did not see my truck spin around. That's Everybody crazy. else did. <laughs> oh, man. That would be would, really scary. Huh? That one would be scary. I was afraid to drive on that road for a while. What popped your tire? I have no clue. Gotcha. I have no clue. My scariest was, well, I wasn't, it wasn't an actual accident, but I was um, three o'clock in the morning. I was coming home from a friend's house and it was snowing. I was coming down the steep hill and I was trying to go slow. I tapped my brakes. Mm -hmm. probably, but I like spun around and I spun into the 
on just some some guy's yard. <laughs> that was pretty scary. I'm like, stop, 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 stop. So, wow. Oh man, when I first got this truck, the same truck on two ninety five, but when I first got it, um, there was a snowstorm. Some guy in a Mustang got stuck on a hill. He just pulled out his driveway, and he was trying to get up the hill, and he couldn't get up the hill. He asked me if I could push him. I'm like, man, I don't want to break anything, you know, because yeah. my bump, my bumper meets his tail lights. I'm like, man, I do not want to break anything. He goes, it's all right, man. It's all right. I won't blame you. I'm like, all right. You know, I warned you. I start pushing him. Next thing you hear is every light in the back of a car break. <laughs> Some people. Yep. He's like, it's all right, man. Just go along. Just go. Every one of his lenses broke on that car. Wow. Did it break the bulbs or just the lenses? The lenses. At least he had the bulbs still. Yeah. <laughs> them, I know lenses for them cars are mighty expensive. I'm sure. People, uh, I don't I don't understand people that get rear-wheel drives when they live in the snow. Yeah, exactly. Sports cars, you know, sports cars are not fun in the snow. Well, sometimes they are, but... They're not the best to drive around in the snow because you're always going to be fish town. Like, if it's all wheel drive, I'm like, yes, that would be fine. But if it's rear wheel drive, uh, no. No. Like, my truck was four wheel drive. Yeah. I had, I, I always had fun in the snow. Me too. I had, a, my... I had a Forerunner, a Toyota Forerunner, and I had fun in the snow. Like, uh, you know, they don't call it four wheels drive for nothing. <laughs> and one year I burnt my four wheel drive out, though. Oh, that I, was sad. Yeah. I bet that was expensive to fix. I never got it fixed. Gotcha. Um, Cause that after that happened, like that spring, that's when I got into that accident on two ninety five. Did that accident like total the truck? Um, it kind of did. It ripped my driver door, like, like it peeled my driver, my driver door open. Wow. And it also did some other damage to the side of the car, side of my truck. And, um, it got, and it got towed away and I didn't have no money to get that thing out of the junk out of the yard where they took it to gotcha they were charging me like a hundred dollars a day keeping that there i'm like oh, forget that keep it that's ridiculous and i i did ask junkyard about my truck and they're like oh your truck's fine that car got messed up i'm like uh not really no it didn't because i seen it that car didn't get messed up that much. The one with the the seventeen year old. Yeah, like, that car didn't get messed up that much. My truck, my door got skinned open. Wow. Did they let you get your stuff out of your truck? No. Oh, that's because I said I I had to pay f to get it out in order to get my stuff out. So I lost a bowling ball. Uh. A paintball gun and all that other stuff. Aww. So, That's... and the radio I have yet got to put in there. So they they got pretty good stuff in that truck. That sucks. Well, that was in two thousand ten. That was in two thousand five. Yeah. Four, no, two thousand four. So that's ten years ago. Yeah. Oh, 12 years ago? I can't. I can't math. I'm sorry. 
I'm not a math person either. <laughs> no, I think. I'm not a math person either, so. Math is part of why I dropped out of college. I, I'm not the best at it. I'm not. I'm not. The, I'm not the best at anything. But I graduated. But I'm not the best at everything. I graduated high school and I did some college, but I can't math. I graduated high school, planned on going to college, but didn't. So college isn't for everybody. So uh, that's what I learned is college. Like sometimes I think about going back just so I can say I finished it, but right. it's not like you have to go to college to get a good degree to get a good job to make money. I'm like. That's not for me. That's not my path. And to be honest with you, um, people that go to college and finish school, they, they they really can't find a good job. Yeah, unless you're like a doctor or a lawyer or something like that. Yeah, that's the only thing. Um, I mean, like I said, I've thought about it just to say I've done it. Um, but right now, I'd rather put my time and energy that I don't put into work into YouTube because it's something that I enjoy. I, I've i learned that I enjoy being creative, so. Yeah. You know, I signed up for YouTube back in 2007. Like, the channel I have now is my second channel. Your my, first? my first channel, I don't mess with that. Um, like, I was like, it was like a goof channel. Gotcha. Because my first video, um, me and my friends were goofing off making, like, some kind of storm video. You know how, Dee! this is a test. This is uh, a test of the broadcast system and all that stuff. I was just in the background acting scared and all that stuff. And um, my friend Mark, that's in my videos, he was just moving his lips and my other friend was a narrator, saying nice. this is the best. yeah. That's how it is. I'll, I'll um send you the link. All right. One, send me the link. All right. Hold on. Let me get on my tablet and do that. Yeah, I I wish I had started YouTube earlier, but I don't know. I never I never did so. What can you do? Um, so it says we still have, we have two people watching right now. I'm wondering if that's me watching us on this other computer, or if somebody is really watching. If you're watching, leave a leave a comment in the side chat so we know. Uh, Eric Messenger K. Okay. You can put it in the hangout chat or Twitter. Yeah, that's what I did. I uh, I sent you a message on Twitter. 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 I'm a Twitter. <laughs> I tweeted you. Yep. So, how many videos do you have on this other channel? Uh, hold on, let me go back. I have one, two, three, four. Oh, that mean to click into that. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Eleven videos. And my most viewed video is my friend going to the bathroom in the backyard. The, that video has 3,700 views. Can you monetize that channel? Um, I probably can, but it, I have to be active on it. Uh, and I'm, I'm not active on her. And besides, I think it has 
It has less than 10,000 uh, channel views. Oh, gotcha. All right, we're going to watch this video. Beep. This is a test. This is a test of the emergency broadcast system. This is just a test. If this had been a real emergency, this report would be followed by your local news. This is just a test. A test of your emergency broadcast system. Beep. Nice. nice. Scared citizen. Yeah. <laughs> and the V and the V and that's all, folks. <laughs> Oh, sex for the... Oh, nice. <laughs> we would goof around and call everybody. We would goof around and say, oh, sex to everybody all the time. That's, that's and awesome. then that's when we made an oh, sex production. That's... You know, so I don't know if you... Did you ever watch Jackass or anything like that? Yeah, I did. Um, I'm not more into them, but they're okay. Yeah. So, growing up, I, I watched. I was really into the Viva La Bam and and the Jackass movies. Um, and I just, I was thinking, like today, I I watched a documentary of Ben Margera. And he's coming back to skating after like ten years of drinking, and I just oh wow! I just thought of uh, about how he started just filming stupid stuff and how he got. I mean, I don't think he posted anything anything to YouTube, but that would have been crazy back then posting to all that stuff to. Well, I know he took it hard when Ryan Dunn died. Yeah, so. that's, from what I understand, he was he was drinking pretty good. And then Ryan Dunn died, and that hit him even worse. So, yeah, he went over the hill on that one. He it like crushed him. Uh, he's coming back. He's trying to quit drinking and trying to get back into skating. So. Well, I hope he does get better. Me too. I do. Really I mean, I liked him as a as a person. Well. I didn't really know him as a person, but from what I saw of him, I liked him. And such. Well, I met him in I met him in real person, so that would be cool. Um, he he came to a, um, a bar in uh, Blackwood, New Jersey. Wow! Uh, because one of his friends were in a band, and he was there to watch the band play. That's cool. How far away from uh, Pennsylvania are you guys? Oh, wait, you uh, guys are hmm. across the river, huh? Well, Philadelphia is like right over, like about twenty minutes away. But um, to get up into Pennsylvania, Pennsylvania, my brother lives in Pennsylvania. He lives like an hour and a half away. Gotcha. Isn't he from Pennsylvania? Who, my brother? No, Bam. Yes, he's um, Westchester, I think. Right. So. Westchester. Yeah, it does say three people are watching now, but nobody's commenting. If you're watching, make yourself known. Uh so, ooh, four people. Um, yeah, I went. Uh, the one, hello, Big John. Yeah, hello. <laughs> uh, so I watch. Oh, hi, Zach. Hey, Zachary. What's going on? Um, but we um, back when I was married in two thousand nine, two thousand ten. Uh, we went out to New Jersey. My, as my my wife has a friend and a 
cousin out there, so we went out for a wedding. Other than that, I've never been out there. I'd like to go back sometime. So one of these days we'll have to get together. Hey, that would be awesome. I'm not here because those stupid jug handles are annoying. I think um, Jersey did away with their jug handles. There's did like, they? there's well, there's a few circles left, but not too many. Because I, they were so bad that I made my wife drive. I'm like, I can't deal with this. Really? I, like, like the one time I I I did drive, I made quite a few illegal left left turns. Ah, uh, okay. Like this. Is, when I was driving home from work one time, um, this lady was coming off the circle and just kept coming at me. She almost ran into the side of my truck. I'm like, hello. You not I'm see right the- here. <laughs> exactly. You can't see my big black and gold truck. Get out of here. Some people should not be allowed to drive. No. Like, you know, and you got these <laughs> England or, or across the pond people. They laugh at us because Americans don't know how to drive around circles or as they call them, roundabouts. I hate roundabouts. Oh, my gosh. Up, up around my work, there's two, like, like, not even a quarter of a mile away from each other. So... My coworker calls them the circles of death, just because nobody can nobody can navigate them. Yeah, uh, there's this one. It uh, used to be called the airport circle. Uh huh. I hated that thing so much, and like I had to work. I worked at my brother's company um, business that he worked for. And he was showing me around, and I had to go through that one circle every day. And it drove me nuts. I hated that circle. I'm sure. Because all the lanes would run right into each other. I'm like, ugh. Yeah, like, people don't know how to drive in a circle. It's like, what's wrong with you people? And other circles I know how to drive into, but not that one. That, That one's, like, the worst. Yeah. But they did away with that circle now. They they turned it into a regular road. Did they turn it into like a four way or? Yeah, with lights and everything. So that's good. Yeah, I just people just don't know how to drive them with a circle. I don't know why. I love circles now. I like them now because I know how to drive them. Yeah. But not that one. Mm-mm. I like to go do circles in the parking lot sometimes, especially when it's snowing. Yeah. Donuts. Yeah. Those are fun. Yep. Um, I used to do that with my brother's truck and with my truck. Yep. It's like, I, when I was in high school, I had a, a, a Chevy Corsica. An 80, 88 Chevy Corsica. It was a pilot. Um, but it was front wheel drive, so I'd go up to the parking lot. I'd put it in reverse and do donuts in reverse. <laughs> nice. So, um, the other thing is, is uh, uh, about 10 years ago, I had a four wheeler. And doing donuts on four wheelers was fun, too. That's pretty awesome. Pretty- I, I haven't done a donut in a long time. Does it snow every year in, in Jersey? Uh, sometimes. <laughs> sometimes. Yeah. Last year, we in, at least in Ohio, we didn't get very much snow, but it was cold and frigid. It was, like, ridiculous. Yeah, you, you got people that... um. Say, oh, I want the winter here. I want some snow here. But when that snow comes, oh, I want summer here. It's too cold. I hate this mess. If I had my way, it'd be uh, 70 degrees all year round. 
70 degrees, that is perfect because that means I'll be able to go outside in the summertime <laughs> and walk. What? I, I can't walk out there in 95 plus degree temperature. No way. Yeah, it's. I I mean, I would love it. I'm, I'm not a fan of the heat, like the hot, hot, and I'm not a fan of the cold. So yeah, 70, sure. 70 degrees would be perfect. Plus, I could ride my motorcycle year round. Yeah, there you go. Uh, Zach is asking you what your opinion on the hurricane is. Um, my my opinion? Yeah. Well, he didn't. Um, it, but I'm asking you. Cause... Uh, my opinion is, I hope everybody stays safe. At, you know, um, I I think it's bad that that's going on. I don't like to see everybody hurt or put out of their houses or anything like that. Uh, I hope everybody stays safe. And protect your animals, everybody. Take them with you. Yeah, it's... Unfortunately, I don't see a, a way around uh, the hurricane. Like, It's something that we're going to have to deal with, but it's something that sucks. And yeah. I'm, Oh my gosh, watching some of the the videos of Harvey last week, like some of the videos of the, the flooding, people going down and, and rescuing people, I'm like how would it be to lose like your home and all those floods? That would suck. Yes. Oh. Um, since you brought up the hurricane, there's a cool website that I'm going to uh, show you guys because I think it's cool. So. It's called windy.com, but it shows the um, hurricane right there. I've been oh, wow. tracking it on this website. Like when I started tracking it, it was down here, but now it's got moved up here. So that is pretty scary. Isn't it like category four? Yeah, it's um, last I checked, it was a category four, uh, which is sad to say that that's good because it was a category five. Oof. So, oh my gosh. Well, I hope it keeps it, dropping down. Huh? I hope it gets dropped down to like yeah. category three or two. Yeah, me too. And it's, but I feel bad for the people that are like in Santa Clara or like Cuba and, 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 whatever down there, Haiti, because it's gone through the Dominican Republic. It's gone through Haiti. It's just gone up through Cuba. And I feel bad for those people that they've had to go through that. Right. Like, I'm like, lucky. I'm, I'm lucky that I don't have to go through that with my family, but I feel bad for those people that do. So. Oh yeah. I definitely feel bad for them too, because that like New Jersey got hit with one a couple years ago, Hurricane and, Sandy. Yeah. I remember I was working for the post office, and we had a lot of people calling and wanting to know what's gonna, what was going to happen to their mail. So, um, What are you thinking about the hurricane, Mr. Zachary? Uh, let's see. Thank you for coming and watching. Make sure you watch his uh, new content. Uh, let's see, hold on. See what that guy said? Huh? See what that guy's comment says? I'm trying to remove it. Goodbye. <laughs> So, yeah, I, I feel bad for those people in the hurricane. I unfortunately, there's not much. I like. I wish I was able to do something and help them. But yeah, you know, I was. You know, I'm glad I was able to um, donate dog food and cat food. How did you? I mean, where did you donate it? What did you? Um, my local AWA. Uh, had animals from Houston shipped to their um, to their uh, place, so I took food and stuff over there. That's cool. 
Um, what's AWA? Animal Welfare Association. Gotcha. Maybe I should look into that. Um, it's very nice. Hey, like, they didn't have too many pets over there, but also there's an animal orphanage like right down the road from there too. So, so they got plenty of use out of. What's that? So they got plenty of use out of everything that was donated. Yeah. Oh yeah, they they got a lot of food, a lot. So, Zach says it. Um, it's sad, and, and they're in his hopes and prayers. I agree with you, Zach. They're, I, like I was just saying, I wish there was more that more that I could do. I was watching. Um, I don't know if you guys watch Casey Neistat um, or the the Beam News. What are you laughing at? I don't. Somebody brought up Casey Neistat to me the other day, and like I talk. I you know I don't. I don't personally watch them that much. Like, I watch them here and there, yeah. but not that much. Gotcha. And that that's that makes sense. But um, video last week, he went and visited his in laws in Houston, and they, their house is flooded. And just and then the other one uh, that I was watching was off the ranch, and he went out and helped people. Uh, that were flooded and just the the devastation that Harvey left was was sad. It, it's definitely sad. I I I do feel bad and for everything that's going on. I, I just wish people would bring their animals with them and don't lock them up and chained in their doll cages and stuff. Yeah, I I've I never heard stories of that like if people like left them that would be yeah there's been videos out there uh and people um had dogs locked in their cages and, and had water up to almost up to their necks that that's sad it was extremely sad when i seen that it, it was pretty messed up you know, i i love you know I love animals, and I I had planned on this is the truth. I had planned on getting a better vehicle, like a pickup or something like that, and load it up with water, dog food, cat food, and just beans for human beings. You know, because the adult humans would be able to find food. Better than the animals. Yeah. That's why I said I'll just get them beans. <laughs> hey, uh, if you're desperate enough, you'll eat anything. But you know, I have no problem with beans. I, I, I will. <laughs> yeah. So we have someone in the comments. I'm probably gonna butcher your, your name, and I do apologize. Um, Lipperest. She says. I hope she, I hope it's a she, but she says, "Me and my family live in Florida, and we have to leave all of our stuff behind." That would be devastating. Yeah. I mean, all the stuff that you were you worked hard over the years to 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 get, it would be left behind. That would, and then knowing that it's probably not going to be there when you come back, so that would be hard. Yeah, I I, I pray for everybody. That live in them states and them countries, you know, I I pray that you all get out of there safe and sound. You know, stuff can be replaced. Your lives can't. Yeah, it's it's sad, but hopefully. I mean, the I think I'm hoping that at least the country has um, shown that we can bounce back and recover. So, yeah, you'll everybody. Oh, what happened? Message was deleted. Yeah. They say something bad. Yeah. Uh oh. 
I guess they were trolling. Yeah. <laughs> so, uh, but I know, but it's still sad that about Florida and such. I, I still believe that it's hopefully every, everyone's okay and hopefully um, there's not too much damage. So. Hopefully in the next uh, couple of days we'll find out what what the the loss is in Florida. So yeah, I hope it drops down to got quick yeah. category yeah. three, two, like lower numbers, so everybody's fine. Me too. So I don't like to see people hurt, suffering, or nothing like that. <clears throat> I'm trying to. There's also an earthquake in Mexico this week too. So, oh wow. Yeah, that was a pretty bad one too. Like, can we just get a break for a minute? That'd be great. Uh, this is the hurricane season too. So yeah. So I'm actually, from what I understand, Ohio's in tornado or. Ohio has tornadoes, and we haven't. I haven't experienced one yet. So, knock on wood that you don't. I know. I'm like, where's wood? No, that's fake wood. I don't know if that counts. <laughs> oh man. Uh, so, this is pretty off awesome. We gotta do this more. Absolutely. Um, hopefully next time we can get a couple more people. Yeah. So um, we, have, we have four watching now, so maybe we should do it a little bit later. I don't know if you can or not. but Yeah, I, I'm game for that. So, Hello, is there anybody out there? <laughs> uh, so. you have any fun plans for your channel? Coming up, um, yeah. If you want to spill the beans, well, I did spill the beans about this in one of my like videos recently. Um, when my sister's baby comes, I'm gonna um, have a reading segment with the baby. That would be cool. Um, I think it's gonna be called. Um, Reading with Uncle Jelly Bean, I think. I'm not sure. Nice. That would be sweet. I've been I've been trying to get um my daughter wants to do a, a cooking segment. I've been trying to do trying to find time to do that. That would be pretty cool. That yeah. would be cool. So just gotta find the time to, to do it. Uh, my I don't know if you've noticed, but my kids love be, love being in my videos. So. Kids love cameras. <laughs> so, my wife, she's fine with it, but she doesn't like love it. But my kids absolutely love it. They're like every time I pull out the camera, they got to be online. So, you know, you know, some people they they just think that it's weird what we do. It's it is weird. Yes, yes, I'll agree, but. I still enjoy it. So, like today, I I was vlogging today when I was out. I had people looking at me like, "What the frick are you doing? Why are you talking to the camera?" I'm like, I'm vlogging. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> and like my sister's friend was with us too. Um, she's like. What are you doing? I'm like, I'm recording my video for YouTube. She goes, Oh, okay. How, how does that work? Your camera, t that camera t records videos? I'm like, Yeah, it does. I said it takes video and it takes pictures. Wait, it does both? How does it do both? <laughs> exactly. How do you get that out of the camera? I'm like, See this? It's called a memory card. <laughs> Um, and she's like, oh, okay. I I think I have one of them, but I don't know how to do it. 
<laughs> I'm like, oh my gosh. Um, when me and uh, Mr. TV were talking last week, we uh, we talked about vlogging and vlogging in public. Like every now and then, I get I get self conscious and about when I do it, but for the most part, I just I just embrace it. Like people look at me weird, and I look at them weird back. So yeah, but, and it really like. The, the one video that I did that, that really made me realize that I don't really care what people think um, was about a year ago. I was, uh, I was I had my camera on the steps of the post office, and I was uh, just crouching down talking to the camera, and behind this, uh, this blonde chick comes walking by and just waves to the camera. I'm like, hi. I'm like, wait a second. <laughs> They just want their minute of fame too. So like, so I just embrace it. And if they ask, if they ask me what I'm doing, I'll, I'll be like, posting a video to YouTube, uh, and they're like, oh, that's so cool. So, but like I said, I still get self conscious every now and then, but for the most part, it doesn't bother me. Like when I go out, at times, um, I don't really show everybody or camera. Because, like, I don't know how they'll react to it. Like, yeah. like, don't show me on camera. I don't want to be seen on camera. Like, you know, no, you know, I don't block anything out. I, I do not cut anything out of my videos. Like, you know, I, I, I post what I record. How long does it take you to post? Oof. But my computer... Um, it runs extremely slow, so if I record anything that's over 20 minutes, it takes, like, um, like close to three hours to get onto my computer from Movie Maker. Wow. So, you put it on your computer, and then you run it through Movie Maker and make it into a movie, and then yeah. you upload it. Yeah. And when it's going on to YouTube, it takes like about 45 minutes to an hour. Do you do 1080 or 720? Uh, 1080. Gotcha. Okay. But my camera's a 720. So So you record at 720 and then through export, you bump it up to 1080. Yeah. Gotcha. Okay. Now, my other camera, that's a 1080. I do not like that camera at all because it's so small. No, my, my hands are huge, and that camera is small. The camera I like using is a Fujifilm camera. It's big and bulky, and it has somewhere to put, to put my fingers gotcha. to hold the camera. That makes sense. I... uh. For a while, I was using a Canon. Uh, what was that? Oh my gosh, my mind just went blank. It's the one that Roman out would use, the Canon uh, Rebel. No, it's. Oh my gosh, Canon. Uh, it's the one that John uses, Haggerty. <laughs> the G7X. That's the one. Yeah. So I was using that, and that there was I couldn't find anywhere to secure it, like in my hand. So, like the only way I, I felt it was secure was in my Gorilla Pod. Yeah. So I mean, I might go back to the the Seven X or or uh, an SLR. I'm not sure, but right now I'm just using my my iPhone. Okay. No, oh. this is not. The advertisement. <laughs> I, 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 I yeah. call it a Canon, a Canon cult. People Canon like, cult? Yeah, the Canon cult. I, I bust on John all the time about it. I, I also do the same thing with iPhones, too. I said the iPhone cults. I, I'm, I'm part of the iPhone cult. But... Love me some iPhone. I'll I'll bash them because it's fun to bash people. Well, yeah, like not like 
physically bash people. Yeah, so, I understand what I'm saying. Yeah. Like every day at work, I'm like, my my boss has an iPhone, and she is she's always complaining about it. I'm like, that's because you have an iPhone. <laughs> and doesn't she go? Uh, don't you have one too? <laughs> yeah. So, find the bash. Yeah, I have the um. What kind of phone do I have? A smartphone. Uh, L- I have an LG. I have an LG. Gotcha. LG V20. You should record on that. I do at times. I I, I have a selfie stick now, so I, I, I'll, I'll do live streaming on that at times. I got That's you. what I want. I want that. I want the Gorilla Pod. The Gorilla Pod was, was 60 bucks, but this is it's expandable, so you can fit your phone in it. Yeah. It was like 12 bucks. And it came with a tripod, uh, like a mini tripod. I, I definitely was a Gorilla Pod. That is so awesome because I bought the Gorilla Pod when I had the 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 seven or the G seven X. Right. But this is so. Both- I, I bought a knockoff brand of that. Okay, it was it, a miniature one, a knockoff <laughs> brand, and I put my camera on her. You know what happened? It broke. Ooh. Yeah. Like this all over. I bought this for the uh the G seven X. Um I think it's a bit overkill for the G seven X. Um I think there's a, a smaller version of this for the G seven X, but I didn't want to have issues with it falling over or, or breaking. And yeah. I mean, in the future, I might be getting a, a digital SLR, which is going to be heavier. So I got, I got that. Yeah, like I, I, I look way too big for the G Seven X. It was, a, it was a bit bulky for the G Seven X. It's, it looks like something for my camera. Yeah, it's bulky. It's big for the for the iPhone. I also have um, this right here. I got to show you this. If I can find it. I've used it for this, my 360 camera. It's big for that as well. Um, oh, I, I, 360 cameras, I I do not enjoy too much. I don't but, know. My so my my coworker, he got the um, Samsung Galaxy, uh, the eight for. He just got it brand new when it came out. Uh, when they offered it, or when he bought it, they had an offer where he, he could get the 360 camera right. for 50 And so he offered that to me, so I jumped on that. But um, The other tripod I have, have is this um, Amazon Basics, and it's like just a mini tripod. It's kind of cool. So. Yeah, that's pr- I used to have one like that. I used to have like, one like that. It was five, six bucks at Amazon. So I, I can't wait to get a GoPro. Um, there's actually uh, what is it? Uh, a knockoff that my coworker just bought. Um, it actually I'm thinking about getting it as well, but it's like seventy bucks as opposed to four or five. Oh wow. Let me find it really quick because. Uh, My brother was like, "Wait until Santa, wait until Christmas. Santa Claus might be good to you." <laughs> hey, hey, if some somebody wants to give me a GoPro, I'm, I I would be all over that. Um, but the the knockoff, it's seventy bucks and it's four up to four K. It's a, a Caso. EK seven thousand. I'll send you a link in, in Twitter. All right, I'll definitely check it out. I mean, and it comes with a remote. The GoPro doesn't come with a remote. A, a remote for a camera? Yeah, I, I know. I see. I seen remotes for them, but I, yeah, I just don't get GoPro that seventy bucks, Mike. That's ridiculous. So, 
I'll send you that link to the, the knockoff. And my, like I said, my coworker got it, and he, he's done a couple of videos with it, and he's, it actually looks pretty good. So that yeah, I, My friend has a knockoff one. Uh, I think he paid, like, about 50 bucks for it. I'm not sure. Um, it works good. Yeah, I'm like, I'm like, that's, especially if you need, like, four or five, I'm like, if you need four or five GoPros and you want to buy actual GoPros, that gets pricey. So. Yeah, re- definitely. If you need GoPros, or like, don't buy, like, five of them. Just get the knockoffs. Like, be cheap. The, the one that I got was actually a refurbished one for, like, 200 bucks cheaper. Okay. And, and then, I mean, it's it's a three, and it still does 1080 at 60 frames per second. So it's still... still uh, that's awesome. And plus, you go in water with them. Uh, that's yeah. awesome. That was That's actually one of my fears of, of the knockoff is, is being able to go in water. Like, they say you can go in water, but... I don't right. really know how well. You got to have that carrying case to go in water with it. Yeah, and, and the one that I have, it says you can go into 90 feet of water. I'm like, that's great, but what happens if that's a lie? 90, 90 feet of water? Yeah, let's see. Uh, where is it? It's in that. Um, Who's going into 90 feet of water unless you're a deep yeah, sea diver? Water. It says waterproof to 98 feet. Like, so I guess you can take it like diving and whatnot, or like not diving, but like uh, what's the snorkeling? So you can take it snorkeling. Wow. And it does 4K, so and it has a screen in the back. So I mean, it could be a good. I'm just always fearful. Of, like, I just got a text message from my friend, one of my very good friends. Uh huh. Saying that somebody's talking about me in his live stream. Who? Uh, my friend's live. My friend. Oh, wrong person. My friend's name on here is Crazy Cries. I don't know who. Why would somebody talk about me? Because you're so talkable. <laughs> I am too the same. Because you're so cool. Everyone wants to talk about Big John. <laughs> All right. What the heck's going on? Oh, my friend's live streaming the um Hurricane Irma. Oh wow. Uh, all right, hold on, let me see what they're saying. All right. Uh, a lot of stuff. Uh, hold on, let me see. What... Uh. All right, hold on. That was me. I was just retweeting. All right, I I did retweet the uh, thing again, so I, I retweeted that as well. Is it hitting like Florida? Um, uh, it looks like it's rain in one screen. One camera is shaking repulsively, and the other one it looks clear. Hmm. So it's rain and wind. Because like the 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 video or the the website that I have, it shows that it's like gently touching the tip. All right, I I could send you my friend's link to. Sure, send it over. All right, I'm direct messaging it to you right now. There you go. All right. Guys, this video is not sponsored by Mountain Dew either. I'm just, <laughs> I'm just that, right. Um, uh, I'm like, what? I'm, I'm like, what's up? I'm in a live stream myself. Uh, Door. Oh my gosh. All right. 
And my name is John Remsington. The third. Oh, the heck. It's, it's my friend's nephew. He's just busting yeah. my stones. Probably because we were talking about the storm. No, he no. Uh, my friend was actually he went live before, right before we did. Uh, is he in Florida? No, he's in PA. Um, he's in PA. He lives like five minutes from my brother. Gotcha. So how is he getting the the hurricane? I have no clue. Okay. You do see it, right? Yeah, I see it. That. Um, all right. I mean, it doesn't look too bad right now. No. So that's good. There, there's um, four different pick views, and one view looks perfectly fine. Yeah. The others are too dark. Oh, that one might be cars trying to leave. I don't know. That's crazy. Yeah, I'm. I feel bad for those people. Like, they have to leave and and such, and they don't know if they're going to come back or what they're going to come back to. I don't know if you're familiar with the Jug Squat. I'm not. Um, they're they're a pretty big YouTube channel. I think they have like over three million subs. I think. That's I cool. think, I'm not sure. Um, they're from Florida. It was mandatory evacuation. Yeah, I've heard it was mandatory, but some pe sometimes people are too stubborn to leave. Yeah, I guess because they don't want to leave their house behind. Yeah. And again, some people just don't want to leave their pets behind. There's one of the videos I was watching, this lady had like two pets or three cats and two dogs and she didn't have she she was trying to leave but she didn't have crates to carry the animals and so um, hopefully she got them out she finally did but they had to find crates to carry the animals so. hopefully everyone's okay Yep. My friend said hello. Yeah, I'm responding. Yeah, hopefully. I actually have the weather on right now. Ooh, it actually looks like it's changing into a three and a two. So it's starting to get better. Yay. That's what I was looking at. Hold on. Could you imagine being in that? That would be like. I would not want to be in that. Mm -mm. Uh, tomorrow's going to be 75 degrees here. Oh, nice. Today was really good. I, I don't know what the, the, the temperature was. But we actually went, it was so good that after work, we, I, I took the dog to the, to the dog park. So. Yeah, my, my dogs don't go to the dog park because they don't know how to act. Um, my, my dogs get a little bit too excited. Yeah, this, we just got ours in uh, December. And so this was her first time at the dog park, and she actually did pretty well. That's awesome. Yeah. Sweet, it's a Category 3. We're winning. I don't know what we're winning, but... <laughs> but it's... Hopefully it stops. Yeah. So are you into football or anything? I am not. I'm... Oh. My... My, it's crazy. My, I do watch one team when I can, and that's because my sister's on the team. She plays 
um, full tackle football. Okay. For the Utah Falcons, and so I watch her games when I can. I don't watch them as much any as as much as I used to because I don't live in Utah. Okay, but so she, your sister, she plays on a professional team. It's it's I don't know if it's professional. I don't. It's the most professional that you can get with women's football. Okay, all right. All right. The last two years they've been national champions. So oh wow, that's awesome. That's yeah. awesome. So. They're they're pretty much unbeatable. They the last two years they they played in the um, International Women's Football League, which is in North Carolina, I believe, is the headquarters. Okay. So that's the only football that I really follow. Okay. I'm kind of boring, I know. And that's it's all good. Um, I do. Like football, NFL, and stuff like that. I Philadelphia Eagles. That's my team. I was originally from Philadelphia. My uh, co- I moved over. My coworkers are all, always talking about the Ohio State, the college Buckeyes? football. Yeah, the Buckeyes. Um, One of my friends is a fan of Ohio State. Like yesterday, my coworker and I are not. Went to Walmart and we walked past the the Buckeyes swag and he's like, "You got to get some of that." I'm like, "No, I don't." <laughs> so, yeah, I, I don't like get jerseys or anything like that. I don't know. I'm not paying to wear somebody else's name on my back. Yeah, I I do have I I do have one jersey for the Falcons and that's it. And that's just because it's actually cool because um, it was before my sister got married, so it has my last name on it. So yeah, and it was it was her number. So well, it's your your sister plays from, and yeah. again, your last name. So like the the way that that it works, at least her team works, is she has to pay to play, so it's not professional in any way. But it's so, uh, okay. So they're they're the best women's football tackle team in the in the nation. So that's awesome. Yeah, I'm hoping. I don't know if it's possible, or I don't know how the the women's football league or whatever works. But I'm hoping that at some point she gets the the team gets to a point where they pay their players. Like they just started the team three years ago, so and they're already the best team in the nation. Oh my yeah. god! Yeah, so I would imagine at some point they'll get to the point where they can pay their players, or at least pay the players to right. Because they have, like they have to play pay for their their gear every year. They have to pay to get to the games and things like that. So I'm hoping right. they have to they can. Make it so, so what's that say about all the other teams? Yeah. Know, a, new, a new team comes in and kicks yeah. ball three like three years in a row. So the I think the only time they ever lost was three years ago. They were uh, they lost the championship game. Okay, and that's the only time they've ever lost. So. Okay. Hey, that's, they made it to championship. Yep. So can't argue with with that. Exactly. And they won the previous. I mean, the next two years. So that's awesome. So, um, other than that, I'm not much of a football fan. I'm kind of boring. I do like golf. Well, I like to play golf, but I don't like to watch it. That's probably the only sport that I really like. So. Yeah, I, I couldn't watch golf. Uh, like, There's no way I could watch it. But playing it, and probably is because with golf, when we play, we, we get the cart and we have fun with the cart. That could be part yeah. of it. So I used to like to go putt-putt and all that stuff. I, I, even though it's putt-putt, I used to hit the ball hard and the ball went flying. <laughs> I did that a couple times growing up. That was fun. 
But watching it on TV, no. No, unless it was maybe, maybe if it was Happy Gilmore. Yeah. Oh, well, yeah. Uh, and people say baseball is boring to watch on TV. My my coworker's all about sports. He'll watch football. He'll watch baseball. I think he'll watch basketball. I'm like, that's so boring. Like, yeah. I'm like, I don't. Yeah, I, I do. I do like baseball. I like football. Um, hockey, uh, somewhat. Basketball, not much. I like watching tennis. Tennis is fun to watch. I never watch tennis. I think I've, I've watched basketball, and, and I've watched basketball, I've watched hockey, I've watched football, and I've watched um, baseball. But they're all boring to watch. In my <laughs> yes. Sometimes, yeah, a lot of times stuff is boring, and I'll wind up falling asleep. Like, I would, if I was going to watch a sport, I'd rather watch in at the arena, like at okay. the game. But yeah. I still don't like I still don't like it, so. Yeah, I hear that. You know, I rather I do rather be there in person than sit at home and watch it on TV because you know, I really don't have nobody to watch stuff with here anymore. Like. My brother passed away like last year, and like we were—he was the other sports person in my family. Gotcha. And uh, like wrestling and all that stuff, and like I used to—I don't have WWE or WWF growing up. That was kind of interesting. Yeah, but that's all. I—I still call it WWF. I hate calling it the WWF. WWE, yeah, I cannot stand doing it. I, wife, I call it WWF with the EF. <laughs> yeah, my wife likes sports, but I just I can't. Like, I'll watch the Super Bowl every now and then just for the the food and the commercials. But yeah, lately the commercials have been slacking. Yeah, like the last two or three years of the like. Plus now they're getting. They're getting leaked on anyways. Like, yeah. Like, what the heck? Hey, I like to watch commercials on TV. That, oh, yeah. Whew. You don't do that. I don't like watching them being leaked on YouTube or anything like that. You know, yeah, I know I'm a YouTuber, but I don't, doesn't mean I want to watch the leaked commercials. Yeah. Well, that's the thing is they're just not as good anymore. No. no. Like, I remember back in the day with the Budweiser and, and the frogs and the yep. alligators and yeah. penguins. Oh. Or there was a there was a one year when there were horses. Oh. Yeah, I, I like the ones when the animals are involved. The animals make it better. So it looks like we got three thumbs up. We got no uh, thumbs down, so that's good. Um. I'm probably going to cut this off just because i got to get up in the morning. Okie dokie. Uh, next time, we need to do this again. Okay, I am definitely time. game for it. Definitely okay. game for it. I had a lot of fun. A lot of yeah. fun doing us. Um, so hopefully next time we can get more people because that would be even more fun. Yes. So. Um, I don't think there's anyone watching now, but if you are, thank you so much. Um, do you want to introduce your channel really quick, John? Um, hey, everybody. Let's vlog with Big John. Or, hey, Jelly Beans, John, come back at you for Darren's live stream video. <laughs> so if you are watching, go subscribe to John. And if you're coming from John, go subscribe to me because, yeah. Exactly. Uh, Do what he said. <laughs> um, I've had fun. Hope you have too. So, I had a lot of fun. All right. I will. I'm going to stop this broadcast. And going down in three, two, one.